Hi, it's Adrian, and I'm back today with a couple of new products that I'm trying out. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started as far as what I have on. Today, um, the Glow Oil by Supergoop with the SPF 50. I am going ahead and using the House Labs. This is their foundation, uh, the Triclone one, and I have mine in Fair Cool, which is shade 50. And um, I also have on the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh, and this is uh, their concealer. So I have all, all of this on and um, have some new products. Yeah. Oh, one more tried and true, the MAC. And this is their bronzer in Light Rosy Radi Radiant. And so I have this on as well. And then as far as the new products that I got, well, can you tell I'm a little excited? Yeah. So I started off with Peach Bum by Wet n Wild. And I went ahead and put that on as far as a blush. And then I picked up a new ColourPop blush. And this is the Dancing Queen by ColourPop. So it's one of their uh, newer ones that has some shimmer in it. It's available over at Target and also on their website. And I... So that's the way it looks, and it definitely has some shimmer in it, and it's very, very pretty. And then I did go ahead and put the uh, Daybreak on as far as my highlighter. This is by Revlon, and yes, if I bust the packaging, then I probably really like the product. And um, the other uh, yeah, base product I have on is from Beauty Pie. This is their brightener. And it's probably a good replacement for the Becca Brightener. And as far as the new palette, well, this is kind of it. Isn't that cool? It's um, by Nomad. It's their Orient Express palette. And um, an older palette of theirs, but it's new to me. So I thought I'd go ahead and check it out. And it does have a a very pretty blue, um, yeah, gorgeous blue velvet on there. And it is called the Orient Express. This is what it looks like on the inside. And so Nomad was having a little bit of a sale. And so I went and purchased some fun, some really fun uh, products. So uh, as far as what I did today, started off with Baby Grand here, and they do have um, they do have imprints in there. This one has an imprint of a perfume bottle, and then I used Grand Sweet. That's the green color that I have on, and that has saxophone on there. Um, I did go ahead and use Finish or Venice, which is actually a duochrome. And yeah, I wiped away the uh, embossing on that one. And then, let's see, what else did I go ahead and use? Oh, this um, Arlberg Pass. And so that's a, a yellow. Or actually, it's more of a champagne. So I went ahead and used that one as well. And um, as far as the eyeliner that I did, um, I used the Imride eyeliners, and so I used green in this terracotta color. Uh, this color right here comes off as a terracotta once you put it on your eyes. And um, it just, it's a beautiful palette, and it has great packaging. Uh, the formula is really pigmented, and uh, this duochrome has a lot of gold and green in it, and it also has a brown terracotta base, so um, it's just really fun, and I think that it's gorgeous. So, um, yeah, I'm really glad I went ahead and picked it up. Again, it's the Orient Express by Nomad. This way that the eye look came out. So I do have a little bit of a different setup today, and it is causing me to kind of go, oh, where is stuff? Where, where's camera? Where's, you know? So I appreciate your patience on that. I did go ahead and use the ColourPop just because. This is one of their Just a Tense. And uh, there's, again, the ColourPop uh, So Glassy 
uh, gloss and this way the lip came out fun fun easy to apply these just a tints are really nice I like them I got actually the whole collection when they came out and so yeah they're they're really pigmented um, but they feel really good so they have a yeah a little bit of a shine to them and um, I think probably that's just about the video I had um, got my hair trimmed into a real bob and so I feel you know sort of like I I match a little bit as far as the packaging and the theme goes in the 1920s and you know uh, writing by train and all the the glam and all that good stuff so uh, that's the video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you like the look I think it kind of reminded me a little bit I did a whole series on the Yucca palette whether to buy it or not and yeah I'm feeling I'm feeling that it has sort of one of those vibes going on um, so enjoy it and I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you later bye